Yes, it's a, um, it's basically, you've heard about plasma therapy where you take uh, the blood from a person. This is a refined form of that where you actually purify the, the uh, genes that make the effective antibodies and you make use those as a, uh, as a medicine, the purified monoclonal antibody. And it's to treat and to prevent for healthcare workers. And they've uh, definitely shown that they've isolated the antibodies. They haven't proved that it works in people yet, but it's very likely it will. That's great. And people hot on their heels in UK and the US. I, do. I think there may be, there's already going to be treatments that are currently uh, being used with plasma therapy. And this will be a continuation of, of that. Uh, I've developed monoclonal antibody drugs for at least two diseases, one anthrax and one lupus. And uh, with a huge accelerated effort, I think it's possible to do it, have a drug approved within four months. That doesn't mean available to everybody because it takes a while to scale it up. But I think you can go through the approval process, an accelerated approval process, very, very quickly. I've just done an investigation to find out that the Chinese have the capacity to make a lot of the drug themselves. They've been doing it because they've been making monoclonal antibodies. You, you know that they you now use those for cancer treatment, the so-called uh, checkpoint inhibitors that made a big difference to a lot of kind of cancers. Well, they built huge capacity to make those and they can use that for this. I do an example with, with, um, with uh, anthrax, when we were developing on the crash program for anthrax, from the idea, the very idea to approval was two years and, and uh, six weeks. Okay, so you can dramatically compress. And I think under this condition, that was 20 years ago. Okay, I think under these conditions, you can do it even faster. And with the kind of resources that are putting against that, you can do it much faster. So that's why I give it a relatively short time for approval. That doesn't mean, so it goes through the testing. It's gotta go through, a, Critical test is, is it safe? And the chance that this will work is very, very high, given what we know about these viruses. We know that these kinds of antibodies stop SARS and stop MERS in animals. Exactly these kinds of antibodies.